it, uh, please exhale. So uh, this uh, little activity, which is very simple, is uh, very effective. This will also give you a feel of what we are actually going to present this morning. So may I please invite you to do this activity with me? Thank you very much. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Thank you very much. I hope that uh, a little activity helped you to be grounded and uh, here in this present moment. So this, uh, the Wellness Initiative is a program that we came up with to help increase our students' level of happiness, their success rate and positivity. Uh, with the disruption of normal life, we will agree that there was uh, a tremendous amount of stress unhappiness and anxiety and um, it was fortunate for my colleague and myself that we happened to come across a course called the science of happiness delivered by dr laurie santos of yale university she came up with this course because she witnessed a sense of unhappiness in her students and their productivity dropping down when she designed this course, she expected only a few students to enroll, but was quite surprised that in the very first intake, she had more than 100 students. And having, like I did it, and in the very first week of my uh, taking the course, I, real, I recognized uh, my level of positivity going up. And um, the activities were very simple, but then it did change my mindset. So when I saw that change in myself, I I decided that I could offer this to my students. So this is not part of the English curriculum that I teach, but I decided to do it as a club activity along with my colleague, uh, Heather. So what would the students gain doing this activity? Number one is a, uh, they would get a voluntary hours because bachelor's students are required to do a minimum of 100 hours of voluntary work. They'd get a certificate of appreciation, which would help them because now happiness and um, any, anything to do with happiness is uh, important. Uh, they would definitely be happier and their success rate, rate would grow, go up. So keeping in, uh, this, these things in mind, we came up with this program called the Wellness Initiative. It was offered on um, Zoom every, every Sunday. So uh, the things that we prepared were the gratitude journal, a gratitude calendar and um, we introduced a, um, an idea uh, you know the smart goal planning activity so here this is a calendar that we uh, designed the um, since this was a, a platform you know a pilot program uh, it's we decided to just do it for the summer so it's a one week uh, one month um, activity so the first week was focusing on gratitude to others. Uh, the second week was gratitude to self. The third week is gratitude for our daily needs met, met. And fourth week, you extend your gratitude to your community or and society. So along with doing acts of kindness or appreciating, gratitude, uh, being grateful for things that happen to us every day, students were also asked to keep a gratitude journal, um, just keeping track of little things that make us happier and uh, increase our level of positivity. Now, with the gratitude journal, the students were given um, 
you know, the freedom to either share the reflection with us or, or just keep a record of, um, of uh, things that they were appreciative of. Uh, so, at the end of one week, we asked uh, in the Zoom session, we asked for students to give us their feedback. We used Nearport, the discussion board in Nearport for their feedback. And it was very interesting to see what each of them had to say. Um, though this was an, uh, this, were, this initiative was provided to students in their free time. Uh, in the first week, we had more than 30 students sign up. And uh, when we asked them, like, why did you sign up for this course, from, uh, for this initiative, most of them said, because this is what we need. Uh, the, the title seemed very attractive and I'm concerned about my uh, happiness. So uh, this was, these were a few of the things that they had to say. And here, when we asked them to think about the topic or the theme and brainstorm, so some of the students said, like, the question we asked them was, what are you grateful for today? Some students said, the roof that protects me, my friend and my parents, uh, the good people around me having a family. So uh, having students to think of these little things, which actually goes unnoticed because our brain is hardwired to focus on the negative. So uh, though there are a lot of good things happening to us on a daily basis, we tend to overlook them or just take them for granted. But with these activities, we were unconsciously training our students to rewire their brain, to focus on the positive and to see its impact, to see how this increases our level of happiness and thereby brings about positivity. Because I think happiness is important, uh, is important for us to be successful in life. And this is exactly what, they, what the students expressed. Uh, in week two, we moved on to gratitude to self and goal setting. Now, uh, goal setting, we use this plan called WHOOP, which was also introduced in the course, The Science of Wellbeing, that I talked about earlier. So here, students were asked to think about their goal, goals and be realistic. Like when we, um, it, it could be a long-term goal or a short-term short -term goal. A uh, short-term goal being like, uh, you know, changing our eating habits or exercising. And uh, these things were important because uh, having you know, with COVID-19, our movements were restricted, our socializing was, was restricted. So what were the things uh, that students could focus on to increase their level of happiness? How could they take care of themselves and be happier? So uh, the goal setting plan is called WHOOP. W stands for wish, having a wish. Uh, o is what is the outcome? Like, why do I have this wish? Uh, what will be the outcome if I pursue it? And then possible uh, obstacles that would come up when I pursue, uh, you know, my wish. And finally, having a goal in place to, to achieve my, my wish. So the feedback was, uh, was again, quite enlightening and an eye-opener. Uh, when the questions we asked our students was, uh, what was one of your goals for this week? And uh, um, most of them said graduating, uh, to finish uh, my, you know, reading some of the books that I have. Uh, and then the outcome would be, of course, making me happy, making me successful, uh, having a sense of achievement. And I think the third slide is very imp important because this is what made them, uh, made the whole uh, activity purposeful. Because uh, I think we often notice that when our students talk about a wish or a plan or a goal, it's uh, it's quite unrealistic. So when they had to sit down and think of possible obstacles, that really made them, uh, you know, come face to face with, okay, what are the problems? This is my goal, but here could be the possible problems. Now, how can I deal with these problems? And then laying down steps. Again, not too many, but being realistic. Okay, these are the two things I can do to overcome my the obstacles and then achieve my, my goal. So just rewiring the brain and being realistic and uh, knowing that this is what I can achieve, uh, this is where I can go, helped them. It was taking one step at a time. And then we went on to week four, where after having looked after themselves or their level of happiness by uh, in uh, for three weeks, we moved on to week four, where 
students were asked to express gratitude and really focus on acts of kindness, uh, extending generosity to their community and their city. Again, keeping COVID-19 in mind. So one question we asked them is, uh, was like, what is one thing you could do for your community? Uh, so there was one student who said, um, social distan distancing, because safety is important, health is important. So if I take, uh, if I do this sincerely, I will not just save myself, but also save people in the community. So having that, that, that thought, you know, having that care and concern, uh, again, I think um, makes us happier. Uh, you know, after all, we are, uh, we are interconnected. So why would I want to do this again? Being realistic, like, okay, thinking of Sorry this. To interrupt, ladies, you have about two minutes to finish off. Thank you very I much. I apologize. Thank you very much. But please continue. Yes. And then how would you do it? Like one student said, trying not to hurt people. So it's COVID-19, students are inside the house. They cannot go out and do anything outside in, in by way of uh, uh, kindness or generosity, but by staying home or interacting with people, she says, I can be kind to them. I can say good things. I can send love to others. So it's opening your heart. And then we asked them to give us a feedback uh, where uh, the first one of the questions we asked was, why, why did you join this initiative? So yeah, you can see like I've got seven students. One of them said, I want to change uh, I wanted a change of positivity. I wanted to improve my health. I wanted to look after myself more. Uh, the title was attractive and it's different. I want to volunteer. So encourage students down the path of positive, motivated lifestyle and attract talent. So uh, will you now, again, we wanted to know if students would continue with this because, um, you know, it's, it's not just for one day. Uh, the benefit will come if you do it on a daily basis, make it a part of yourself. So many students said, uh, one thing that they would continue is the breathing activity, keeping a journal, uh, meditation, which is again, the breathing activity that we did. We also did a kind of mandala painting to help them relax and de-stress. So one student said she would continue with that. Try to be better for myself, my family, my community, so wonderful responses, which was very um, heartening. Uh, we wanted to do this activity with you, but if, if it's possible, I think we have a minute. No, um, I think now we're 10.26, so I'm so sorry. We have to leave it there because people have to fill in the, we invite people to, there's no time, I think, for questions either. Yes. I don't have any questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much and I